number um, when we're doing rational functions. And the one thing I started off this um, instruction with was how to find the vertical asymptote. And that's all I taught you guys. That's all we went over with this graph. Um, we did, I did give you guys an equation. That, actually, I'm not sure if I left it up for this class. y equals n of x over d of x. OK, but I didn't get to explain really anything else. I just said, ladies and gentlemen, rational expressions aren't the reciprocal function. They're related. But basically, you're going to have a polynomial up top and a polynomial on the bottom. OK? That's what it looks like. So you can see this follows along. What's nice about this one, though, it's already factored, right? They already factored it for you. So that was nice of them. Um, then the other thing that I left in there before you guys, before we ended class, is I said to find the vertical asymptote, you set the denominator equal to 0, then you solve. So if you wanted to find the discontinuities, you might not understand what that is. But if anything, all I really expect you guys to do is to find the vertical asymptote of every single graph, so, or every single problem. So if you found the vertical asymptote, you would have said x plus 3 equals 0, subtract 3, subtract 3, x equals negative 3. And based on what you were taught last class period, that would have been OK. I would, have, I would accept you to do that for every single problem. Because that's, that's all I had time to teach you guys. However, now we have a little bit more time. We can get into removable and non-removable discontinuities. Because mathematically, this is not a part of the domain. However, it's not an asymptote, actually, in this case. This is actually not an asymptote. Um, so whatever, you still, the, my definition is still the same. To find the vertical asymptote, set the denominator equal to 0. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you should see is we can apply the division property, right? If you apply the division property, the x plus 3's divide out, leaving us with just x minus 4, right? Well, but still, and that's a line, so that looks something like this. But still, x cannot equal negative 3. Well, lines don't have asymptotes, right? We don't have asymptotes. So how do we graph something, a line, but have x cannot equal negative 3? What that is called is a hole. So the graph is still a line, but originally you have a removable discontinuity. So when you have a removable discontinuity, you'd still set the denominator equal to 0 and find it. But it's not going to be an asymptote like my previous definition. When it's removable, meaning you can divide it into 1, it's called a hole. And graphically, it would look like this. Okay, So the difference of your discontinuities, you either have an asymptote or a hole. If it's something that can be factored and simplified out, it's called removable. Because do you guys see how we remove the x plus 3's? So it's removable. When it's removable, it's called a hole. If it's non-removable, it's an asymptote. And you would create a nice little dotted line. We'll do that next. But again, the domain is still the same thing. Domain is all real numbers such that x cannot equal the discontinuity, which is still the same. x can't equal negative 3, right? So that doesn't change. The range doesn't change. Just think of it like an asymptote. It's all real numbers, except y cannot equal. Now, we do need to figure out what that, um, at x equals negative 3, we need to figure out what that would be. So if you plug in negative 3 in for that, negative 3 minus 4 would be negative 7. So such that y cannot equal negative 7. Because we need to figure out what would the y value be at, neg at x equals negative 3. Um, and then we need to find the x and the y intercepts. So um, x intercepts, y equals 0. 0 equals, um, you could do it for either one. It doesn't really matter, x minus 4. So you get x equals 4. And you could write that as a coordinate point as 4 comma 0. To find the y intercept, x equals 0, y equals negative 4, 0 comma negative 4. And that was it. And does that look like that's roughly about right? Yep. And that's all you guys had to do for that. OK. Now let's